everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are all excited because today is a very special episode in our BitLife Royal series because we are starting season two with Duchess Lottie. So I think as a community, we have collectively for the most part agreed that we think that Lottie will be the one who inherits the throne. I do know that there are some of you who still believe that even though Lottie it, um, is, it says Duchess on BitLife, a lot of you still believe that Victoria is the one who's going to rightfully inherit the throne because she was the firstborn. Um, and you have had that happen in your game. So we're taking a chance here and hoping that Lottie is the one that is the heir and that she'll be the next one in the line. I don't don't know if it's gonna happen so once we switch lives with her we are stuck playing Lottie so I hope you guys are ready for season two Madison became queen and now we get to live out Duchess Lottie's life so let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and get to it Okay, so as you can see, we have beautiful Lottie. We are at the old palace. So Lottie is here. She is in her big, big palace. Since her mother has become queen, she has been moved in to the family home uh, where she is the next in line for the throne, hopefully. <laughs> um, so she has inherited this house. Where is she hanging out? Oh, she's playing chess. Um, I think we will go ahead and give her a makeover today because if we look in BitLife, Lottie is 35 years old. So we'll give her a little bit more of a mature look. But before we do anything, I wanted to do a recap. So in the last episode, if you haven't seen it, I will link it above. It was a pretty fun episode. Um, but basically we turned six 65 years old as Madison. Um, our mother died in while she was sleeping peacefully. Uh, so we ended up becoming the Queen of England and we inherited 530 million pounds. So she's doing super well. Um, our happiness, health, smarts, looks, and respect are all doing really well. The people seem to be very happy with their new queen our coronation was very successful it was a lot it was like 30 million or something crazy like like a really high number so before i switch over to little lottie i'm so nervous i have no clue what's going to happen i've never done this before so we're taking a big risk here i'm hoping that it's going to turn out and that we're going to be okay but as you can see under all of uh her kids Duchess Lottie, Duke Edwin, and Duchess Willow. Um, none of them got changed to princess, so we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Um, but I wanted to change Madison's diet because we don't want her to live as long as mom did so we can become queen hopefully sooner. So I'm not gonna, I've changed her diet. She's off the Mediterranean diet, so I hope, hopefully she'll have like just a regular lifespan instead of living till like 112. So now we go to uh, little Lottie. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous. Once we switch, we can't switch back. Okay, so switch lives to play as your daughter, Duchess Lottie. Okay, switch to Duchess Lottie. Are you sure you want to switch lives to play as your daughter? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have 300 and... Whoa, when did Lottie become a brunette? Lottie's been blonde to 35. It says, my mother, Queen Madison, switched over all of her energies and earthly possessions to me. She bestowed to me a palace, a Dodge Viper, a diamond ring, 21 heirlooms, and cash assets that were settled with her spouse. Wow. We're not happy. Um, but we've got mom's the queen. Harrison's our father. Oh, wow. Look how old Harrison got, you guys. He looks so old. So he's a retired scientist. So we'll have to give dad a makeover. And oh, look, we can look at our family legacy. Attenborough legacy. Generations is two. It has been 65 years so far. Accumulated wealth, $681 million. We are current generation Duchess Lottie. And our ancestors are Queen Madison, our mother. So I don't know if we are in line for the throne. So I think the first thing we should do is... Uh, uh, first of all, let's give her all the money in the world. There we go. Okay, so she's back to being rich. And we will go ahead and go in to 
create a sim and we're gonna modify her. Okay, so she's blonde. So we're gonna go to the salon, select this style. I guess something more like this. All cleaned up. You got your hair styled at the salon. I need to change her hair color. So I've gone ahead and I am dyeing Lottie's hair. Back to blonde. This is my color. You got your hair colored at the salon. There we go. So we have fixed her looks in BitLife. Um, we are 35 years old, so I would say we are still considered a young adult. I'm gonna try to get her into a relationship and also um, married as quickly as possible. Maybe even in this episode, I don't even know yet. Um, but I'm gonna quickly go try to give her a more duchessy royal look for a 35 year old and I will be back when I am done. Okay, so I just finished Lottie's look. Now, Lottie is definitely very much a proper young lady. Um, a lot more modest than her mom is. <laughs> Even though we love Madison and her fashion sense, we know that she definitely can be a little bit more out there. This is Lottie's everyday look. This is her formal. Now, this is just for like if she's not doing like on a royal occasion if something comes up where she needs to have her tiara and a different type of gown then of course we'll change it uh, but for now that's her gown this is her fitness her sleep this is like her more casual party look and then this is her more dressed up party look uh, swimwear hot weather and her cold weather. So she is looking super fabulous. One thing I have noticed is that her aspiration is academic. She is actually 35 now. So I do think we might give her friend of the world because she definitely wants to help as many people in her um, serving the public as best as she possibly can. So I think we're gonna go ahead and give her that. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. So our looks are at 69%. I think I'm gonna have her, first of all, come upstairs to the family gym. Now, because this is Lottie's place, and obviously we probably are gonna be getting kids throughout this, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, a lot of this place is probably gonna change, which kind of makes me sad because we've worked so hard on this house, but we'll wanna make sure that everything's personalized to all the different characters. Um, so I am gonna get her to do mind and body, and I'm gonna have her do a workout at the gym. So she is feeling jacked. You worked out at Glacier Fitness. Oh no. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die in the first episode, watch. Uh, rash, while taking a shower, you look down to discover a large skin rash on your body. You've also discovered a number of odd red spots on your body. Oh, well, we're gonna go to the doctor. Uh, we'll go to Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray has diagnosed you with a staph infection. Oh my gosh, please treat me right away. I don't know if I feel anything. Dr. Gray administered treatment to your staph infection. Whew, cured. Okay, so we are doing fine. Our looks have gone up to 77% because she is running on the treadmill. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to go right away under relationships. And we're gonna go activities, we're gonna go love and we're going to find a date. Okay, so love interest. While at a cricket match, you met a man named Ryan. He's 41 and he is an IT support. Uh, no, he's not my type. <laughs> um, Frankie Evans Ellis. Ooh. Okay, so Frankie Evans Ellis is a male. He is 35. His money's really low and so his craziness isn't though. His smarts and his looks are really high. He is straight and he is a librarian at the Sheffield Public Library. On your way to the airport, you meet a male named Frankie. Well, I mean, I guess we can go on a date. True love, you are now dating Frankie Evans Ellis. Okay, well, I definitely think we can go on a date with him, do a couple dates. If he's not our type, we will try to find another guy. So I'm gonna go find us our Frankie Evans Ellis and we will see how it goes. He's he's 35 too, so at least he's a little bit younger. If anything, we should be trying to find a guy that's a little bit younger to make sure we get a baby. 
Okay, so this is Frankie Evans Ellis. I just finished making him. I did it very quickly. Um, I tried to match him as close as I, I'm putting it up to the screen like you guys can see. Um, <laughs> you will see it. Anyways, I tried to match him as best as possible. A lot of the hairs that were a lot more similar to the style in the game uh, didn't come in like a color so this one kind of seems to be the closest color that I could get I gave him the blue eyes he has a little bit of facial hair oh my gosh he's so stinking cute and yeah I'm really super into him so I did his everyday look and I did his formal just because obviously we're gonna go out on a date with him but I didn't want to commit to his whole looks because what if they don't work out? Um, but I really like him already. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see their babies. <laughs> um, but anyways, so he's 35 years old. Um, he is a librarian. So I gave him the Renaissance Sim as well as a bookworm. I also gave him Neat and I gave him Geek. So I think that he is super cute. And let's go ahead and get these two to meet. Okay, so she has been running along the beach. I'm gonna have her run in to this cutie here. Down by the beach. Oh, they're gonna meet right here by this creepy guy with a hat on. <laughs> Aww, so she is a proper sim. So Duchess Lottie is a proper sim. Proper sims are respectful of others and rule and rules around them and will be very angry at any inappropriate behavior they see. So, oh my gosh, he is so cute. So maybe we can just be friendly and we can ask about his day. Let's see what our first impressions are. Duchess Lottie thinks he's stuck up. The sim seems so rigid, stern, and stuck up, and he thinks that we are proper and polite. It's nice to meet someone who has a clear respect for others and everything around. Wow, okay, so I guess we don't like him that much. It kind of makes sense, because in BitLife, it's like half. Um, but we'll just give it a shot. You know, she's just running along the beach, doing her regular fitness activity, meets a really cute guy. She starts kicking some sand at him, and. He's maybe poking fun at her, you know, lack of, oh wow, they're really going together there. <laughs> oh, you have to admit they are really cute. I think they'd make good looking babies anyways. So maybe we can try to get them to have a discussion. So we'll go ahead and she can have a conversation. You and your boyfriend Frankie had a conversation about your first woohoo experiences. Well, we haven't had any woohoo experiences, so that's awkward. Um, we also had a chat about which instrument is the best. We seem to agree on both those things. Uh, and then let's pay him a compliment. You told your boyfriend Frankie that he's sharp. Okay, so I guess, oh my gosh, they are so really ridiculously cute. Um, so maybe we will go friendly and we could, go, I guess we could go ask about his personality type. We're really hungry. So I feel like Lottie, since her mom has become queen, she might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed about the fact that, you know, oh my gosh, grandma's gone. Like before it seems so far away when she might be a queen or rule the kingdom herself. Um, and now her mom is 65 years old. We don't know how long Princess Madison will live. And we, I think she's feeling like super overwhelmed by it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's asking his personality type. He's still learning about himself. Okay, well. Okay, so we are back home from the park. It is two o'clock in the morning. I actually had my... <laughs> my camera completely crashed and I didn't know it. So today's actually Thursday. I was sitting down to edit and I saw that half my footage was gone. <laughs> so I've actually gone on a date already with Frankie and things went really good with them. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and we will take her out on a date again. I thought though, before we do that, I really wanted to renovate her room just to look a little bit more mature because she is obviously 35 years old and I just think that she would have a different space now. 
So I thought it would be kind of cool. Aww. Remember when we had Prince, our little cat? So cute. Oh, this is all of the things she got on her family vacation with her mom and dad when they went to uh, Mount Kamarebi. And she's got her little princess doll. Do you remember she got the Simi capsule? So cute. So yeah, I think it's just time to make her room a little bit more mature. She might even end up leaving this room all together at some point. But for now, I'm just going to renovate. It's really sad. She loved her cat so much. We have everything for her kitty and we have the cat here. Um, I think we'll put the cat just over here. <laughs> I don't want her sleeping with her dead cat. Oh, the little potty she used to use. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go try to make this a little bit more mature for little Lottie and then I will be back. Okay, so I just finished Lottie's room and I kind of decided that like Lottie, she's just moved into the palace, you know, she had to completely move out of her home and you know, everything that she's built for herself there because she's now the princess. And so, you know, it's kind of empty right now and just like a few things that makes her feel like herself, but she hasn't quite, you know, moved in yet. So I want it to look like she hasn't quite settled yet and it's kind of just like a little bit not warm and, and cozy yet, but this is her space compared to the rest of the palace, which is still everything from when she was a kid. Like she's got her brother's rooms and everything, nothing's changed, you know? And that's gotta be really hard for her because it's basically become like an ode to like her family's life and not hers. And I think that she's really struggling with that. So I think she's really excited for the opportunity to go out on a date tomorrow because I think that she's just like at this place where she's feeling a little bit like, unsure of who she is and I think she is trying to like define that because now that she is a princess she's gonna have to take on all of Madison's responsibilities so she's gonna have to start hosting you know other you know political figures from all over the world in her home she's gonna have to start doing the royal tours and all of that and I think that that really scares her um, she's 35 you know and so I think she's kind of like wanting to quickly get into a relationship now what we missed is I um, I spent time with Frankie and it said here I took Frankie to make and pass out balloon animals at the park so I'm really excited for them to do that tomorrow I think it'll just be really exciting to have her be able to to go out on a date and maybe just spend time with someone who's not royalty um, and be able to kind of be a little bit of a disconnection from uh, a disconnection from everything else going in her mind right now that she gets to just spend some time with some other guy. So I'm gonna let her have a sleep for a little bit and then when she wakes up in the morning I really want her to go do some public service because she is a royal and she has to make these connections to her you know she has to start to step up to the plate so she didn't sleep very long I guess she wasn't very tired so I'm gonna let her take care of that and have a quick shower and we'll go under activities here and we're gonna go ahead and do uh, public service again so we'll go under royalty and she'll do some public service so selfless royalty you spend an evening talking with the elderly at a retirement community oh that's really cute a respects at 49% it's not very high but um, there's not a lot of opportunities right now because we're not someone who reviews laws and stuff uh, I'm a little nervous about that because she technically should have become the princess so that's where I'm kind of wondering if she'll actually um, become princess or not. Maybe once she has a kid she'll be bumped up to princess and she'll stay and then her kid will be a Dutch, a duke or a duchess. Um, that's what I'm hoping for but I really don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and have her go on to her phone and do volunteer and I think there is one yet. Yeah, volunteer at a nursing home. So I'll let her go take care of some of her public service for the day. Uh, you know this will be her first public outing um, in a royal capacity, an official capacity where she is a princess and presenting to the world. So I think that she's really nervous about that and wanting to present herself in a good way. So when she gets back, she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna ask uh, little cute Frankie on a date and she can take him to the public park. 
um, and they can hand out their water balloons and have just a great old time. So I am actually gonna have her go ahead and, and ask out on a date. She's gonna ask out Frankie. Now, like I said, I did already film this date for them, so um, they do have a little bit of a love bar, which you guys are probably like, what's happening? Like two minutes ago when you were watching this video, they didn't. <laughs> so I'm just kind of patching the videos together because I lost all that footage. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> Um, so I think it would be really cute for them to come over to the Pepperstone Park. Okay, so we're at the park. I am gonna go ahead and change her outfit. There we go. Oh, she looks so cute. So I'm gonna have her come over and just give him a hug because they do have the romance now. Oh, they're so cute. So she's gonna try to get to know Frankie. I think she's definitely really nervous, but I think now that she is a princess and the next in line to the throne, I think she's also feeling a little bit of pressure to be like, oh, I need to produce an heir to the throne. Cause right now there is no heir to the throne. I think if she has a kid because she's royalty, their, her child should be an heir, at least in real life. I don't know about in <laughs> bit life. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, but I do have the water balloon thing over here. So she can definitely have a water balloon fight with him. So I'm gonna have them come over here and do the water balloon fight. Um, I do think that it's really sweet though that Frankie was willing to come to a park and hand out, you know, um, balloons to children because it really gives him like a, it really makes it seem like he is the type of guy that would be pretty much perfect for royal life because the fact that on their first date, he's like, hey, let's do something to help others. I feel like that would make uh, Lottie feel like, oh my gosh, because of the fact that, you know, that's what her life is gonna be. So she really wants to find a partner in crime or a partner to be able to do these things with, you know? But I do also think that it has to be someone who she's gonna have fun with. And it does seem like, look, she's feeling really playful and she's happy because they she made a new good friend. So they did just become good friends. So I think that she's just really excited. And as you can see, he's totally teasing her. I think that Lottie is not used to people like making fun of her or being playful with her because she's so used to being uh, surrounded by yes people. Uh, so I think Frankie is kind of giving her a little bit of a taste of like what it's like just to be a normal girl on a date and just getting to know someone. So I think that makes her feel really good. Look, she's laughing really hard. Okay, so maybe I really want them to come over here because I saw the option come up to uh, play in the fountain. So I'm gonna have her come here and play together. Now, normally I actually don't think that Lottie would do this. I feel like Frankie is the type of guy who's like, just jump in, just have fun. It's okay to let loose a little. So while they're playing, he's gonna be like, you know, see, isn't this great? Like it is, it's okay to let loose once in a while. You know, being a royal must be so hard and you know, having all that responsibility on you, like once in a while you have to remember that you're still a person and you deserve to live a little. She's like, yeah, but if, if the photographers caught me jumping in the water, he's like, so what? You got a little bit of water on your pants. It's not like you, you know, not to be rude, but I've seen some of the articles about your mom in the past, like the time she was passed out at that Sulani bar and the photographers got her passed out on the chairs. And Lottie's like, oh, you saw that? <laughs> so Frankie's like, seriously, just have fun. Let loose a little. You know, I'm not going to lead you down the wrong path. Like, let's just have a good time. So I think that Lottie is like, oh, wow, this is actually so cool. So I'll have her come over and sit together with him. So it says that they should sit and talk. So she's like, I think you're right. You know, I've been so busy living in my mom's shadow and talking you know, and doing everything for her, I feel like I really haven't had an opportunity to really live yet. And he's like, well, if living is what you want to do, I can definitely tell you I can help you with that. I think we need to have fun. You need to eat more fast food. You need to go to theme parks. You need to have fun. So I think Lottie's like, oh my gosh, he's right. Like, I've been so busy living in my mom's shadow. So I think part of it is she's maybe going through a little bit of a midlife crisis in the sense where she's not sure what her identity is. You know, she goes from being the Duchess 
to the princess. She's taking on all these new responsibilities. She's the queen's daughter. She's the next one in line to the throne. You know, it can be very overwhelming. And I think she's like, wow, what a brush, breath of fresh air uh, to just be around someone who's really fun. So I think Lottie is going to let loose a little and just have a good time. She's going to snuggle in public with a guy, which I'm sure the newspapers would eat up. So I'm going to have her go under Frankie. Oh, look, she blew him a kiss. We've learned that he's a geek. Uh, I'll have her have a conversation. You and your boyfriend Frankie had a conversation about the superficial, narcissistic nature of social media. That would be a conversation he would have. He's like... You know, like all these people always have opinions of you online and you know, at the end of the day, you can't please everyone. Everyone is going to be full of themselves. You just need to be yourself. I am actually gonna have her ask him to be her boyfriend because it does say that they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So she's like, do you know what? I think I'd really like to spend more time with you. Ah! I think it's so exciting for her because she's like, I actually get to like get to know someone. Oh. Um, but these two are gonna get a really cute selfie together on their date. Um, so she's still a really respectable young girl. So I think she's just gonna, or, you know, even though she really likes him, she's not about to start making out with some guy in public. So she is going to, oh, apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna kiss who I want to kiss, Samantha. Okay, girl, you go do what you want to do. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send her home. She's feeling so flirty. Look, she's like, I'm gonna sit on this wagon and eat my yogurt. Well, I'll let you eat your yogurt before we uh, go home. <laughs> so in bit life, their relationship's pretty strong. Frankie is so cute. Um, and their relationship's pretty high. I like that his craziness is low, so there's less chances of like him cheating on us. Now, I really don't wanna age her up until, um, I hear your thoughts on Frankie because I do want her to at least get engaged in the same year and then married and have a baby in the next year that we age her up. Cause like I said, she's 35. So we really can't mess around too much with her years of fertility. <laughs> we need to preserve the genes. That's what I should be called nowadays. The preserver of good genes <laughs> between Edward and the, the royal family. So even though um, I really want to invite him over and have them try for a baby right now, um, if we do have them woohoo before they're married, it won't be a royal child. And I'm not okay with that. I think I'm gonna leave this part here. Let me know your thoughts on the new season. Like I said, I have no clue if it's gonna work. I don't know if we'll become royals or not, or if we'll become queen, but we can still continue on with the lineage for a little bit and see how far our generations can go, uh, which I think would be fun just as a challenge in itself. So I'd love to hear all your thoughts as always. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm gonna say bye for now.